Why can't you just tell me? You see, all I want to know is, are you okay? Everyone is so mad at you. How about you? You mad at me? Where are you? I'm trying to get back to you as soon as I can. You got him. Just off I-94 near Gurney, Illinois. Okay, Send the coordinates to the field. I know it won't be long. Done. You have a full green light. Still tracking? Yep. He's cooked. Okay, send Bravo team down. Did you kill that man? Did I... Kill him. That man at the bank. Of course not. Then why'd you have to leave? I mean, one day soon you're gonna understand everything. I promise. I don't want you to grow up and look back on what I did and feel bad ever. Okay? But now you're gonna have to help me. You gotta be strong. And then next time... You and I will go somewhere together. All right. Anywhere you like. Home would be fine. I gotta go. I love you. You do know that, right? On the move. What the hell is You said you had something to tell me. I'm just trying to figure out why you're helping him. Well, I'm helping my niece. She's innocent in all this. Mm -hmm. And your brother? They blew up buildings. It's been well documented. Do you approve of that? Of course not. Now, if you have nothing more to ask... Do you think he's, he's coming back for his daughter? Is that what he's doing? Excuse me? I'm trying to understand his thinking process. I mean, why not take his daughter with him? You know, why not change his name, disappear? He obviously knows how to do that. You said you had something to tell me. Obviously, that's not the case. So I think we're done here. We didn't ask for this. I don't condone what he did, and I certainly don't appreciate you manipulating your way into my house. You need to leave. Are you enrolling her in school? Because I tell you, this situation doesn't look like a permanent situation to me, and I'm guessing not to you either. Well, what is he doing? Buying himself time for something. I don't know. For what? I don't know. I'm asking you. Your brother's nothing if he's not logical. And right now, nothing he's doing makes any sense if he's guilty.
And she is, um, she just lost her mom like a year ago, so she's sad. And um, then when her dad disappears, she's confused and lost and doesn't really know what to do. So all she has to do is, all she has is the hope and the trust that he'll come back. Um, it was really, actually, out of the ordinary. Robert Redford was watching TV and he came across my PBS special and he thought that he could direct me. So he contacted my manager and um, had asked me to send in an audition tape. So I sent him the tape and I guess he liked what he saw. So like within the next day or the next week, I was in Vancouver recording. Wow, that's an incredible story. Do you have any No, I don't, but I would have loved to. <laughs> it was a major honor. Robert Redford is such a sweet, understanding person and I would love to work with him again in the future. The crying scene. I had to cry, and it was pretty difficult. Um, well, I just did a Cirque du Soleil show, and I was like 30 feet in the air, so that was fun. And then um, I'm going to be doing a concert in Las Vegas, and then going to Taiwan. Thank you. Thank you. Redford's daughter. Her name is Isabel, and she is. Um, kind of confused and doesn't know what's going on because she lost her mom so she's sad to begin with and when her dad leaves her she doesn't know what's going on or why so she's lost and upset at the same time but they have a good bond so no wonder <laughs> Um, I didn't know who he was um, until my dad told me that he played a cowboy. <laughs> but um, it was a really great honor to work with Robert. He is so sweet and down to earth and he's so understanding and really a great person.